Here's our latest Atlas server right from the lab. Adam, good Thank to see you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Yeah. Try it out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's power it on. Okay, here goes. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. It's working. Built with precision, optimized for memory performance, and throughput. That's right. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. yeah. Action. Yeah, John, I mean, hard to believe it's been a year, right? Yeah. We started from an idea on a napkin sketch just yeah, thinking about yeah <laughs> thinking about what what is needed for inference and here we are a year later real product out in the market running inference workloads yeah it's good good to think back to the napkin days i remember yeah. your optimism actually and i must admit i was a bit skeptical that we could pull this off but we did we did you know here it is we it's our atlas inference server we've got it actually up and running it's yeah. deployed it's running real transformer workloads yeah and, and and it's because we cared for you know what the engineers want we, we know what matters right uh maximum memory bandwidth uh, really for transformer workloads, uh, zero lift for engineers on the software side, really, really easy to run your workflow of, of any, any transformer model, and ability to iterate fast. I think that's what's very important uh, without a compiler in sight. So. Yeah, and to that efficiency point, it's yeah. quite surprising to some people, but we built this on FPGAs. Yeah. We took a bet on that's programmable true. logic, and many people told us not to do it, but we went ahead and did it anyway. Yeah. And so not only have we built a product, we've actually built the foundations of a business that can run much, much faster than the market. So, yeah, let's show yeah, them. Pretty let's impressive. Show them what's in there. Right. Yeah, should I take the lid off? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Uh, take a look inside the box here. All right, what's inside Atlas? Well, first off, I mean, obviously, it's a rack-mounted server, so it's data center infrastructure. These here are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, positron accelerator cards, and across all of them, we can hold 500 billion parameter models. That holds a pretty large uh, uh, transformer model. Um, we can divide it up to host many smaller models, and it's kind of cool, actually, because this, this 4U server will outperform a DGX H100, um, and it will do it in uh, less than 2.2 kilowatts. Yeah, that's power efficiency, right? And we can put it in air-cooled data centers everywhere. Uh, that's right, yeah. And, and any rack density. Yeah, it pretty much makes every rack out there accessible to us. Yeah, and, and then the software side too is just as easy, right? You know, we basically are, you know, you bring your weights uh, of your transform models from the Hugging Face repository, and then you upload it, and you get an OpenAI compatible API. Um, you get your tokens in, tokens out, uh, and then really makes it clean, simple, and development ready. Hey, guys. Memory performance is up to 93%. They're really putting pressure on the pipeline. It's a race to see who's gonna go fastest. Attention to detail, that's all you need. That's great, yeah. That's exactly how we drive the power and the cost out of this. It's just pure efficiency. Hey guys. Hey Cameron. Let's talk about a use case of our Positron Atlas server. Absolutely. What we're looking at here is SnapServe, live unedited. This is really built for the AI agent use case because with GPU-based architecture, you literally have to dedicate a single GPU for every agent that you want to load. In our case, let's say you have 16 agents, all fine tunes of small AI models. You could load all of those onto a single one of our accelerators. It's almost like we're giving you a school bus for multiple kids versus a GPU is saying, let's go use a school bus for every kid we want to pick up. Yeah, I mean, this, this really resonates. I mean, having run Inference Cloud, I remember that for every model that we had to maintain, every old model or every fine tune, we had to spin up a new card for our users. Whereas with this, we can load 16, 20, how many of our models and, uh, and have them running on a single card, uh, which again, on a server level, really expands uh, how many models you can host and, and run. Uh, really, really efficient. Absolutely. It's the efficiency you both talked about. I mean, yeah. this is what happens when you have the best engineers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they work hard, they optimize for performance, they work, they optimize for efficiency, and you get the truth. This is real performance. So John, that was uh, quite a fun ex uh, exploring Atlas server and, and SnapServe. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the future now. Yeah, I, I guess by analogy, Atlas has been our launch pad, it's our rocket, but our next generation, you know, product, uh, our ASIC Asimov is going to put us into a really high orbit. I mean, we're talking about you know, trillion parameter models per accelerator. That, that's huge. Huge context, actually. We should be able to hold millions of, you know, tens of millions of tokens. 
you know, for, for input length and prompt length. So yeah, so it's going to be big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's where the future is, right? I mean, we're going from text generation to video generation, massive parameter counts, uh, yeah. high context length. And really, like, I mean, our, our ASIC and our silicon is designed for that future, right? We are aiming to be the highest memory capacity density. Yeah. Uh, we are really, really targeting for um, high memory bandwidth utilization, again, driving for very fast generation. And all in all, keeping in mind that we really focus on performance per dollar, which is the capex that you know you all care about, and performance per per watt or energy. You know, we, we got to drive. You know, obviously we're going to increase energy, but we got to drive more and more performance from it. So yeah, super excited for what we're building. Yeah, me too. And guess what? We've done it once. I think we can do it again. Yeah. So for our silicon, the roadmap is built. The technology is exciting and real. We're targeting real future workloads. And we're excited to announce today that we are funded for it. So we're really looking to grow this company, to work with you, and be ready for this amazing future that we're going to build together. Cool. That's a wrap. Great work, team. Tail slate. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Thanks, Greg.